right, welcome back everybody to another episode of the Melee playthrough series in master mode. Uh, I know it's been a while. Uh, I've had to uh, deal some with, with some stuff IRL and I haven't been able to stream lately, which um, if you can't tell right now, I'm currently not streaming. And um, if you've been keeping up with stuff on Discord and Twitter, you'll know that I actually took a break from streaming and I don't know when I will start streams back up. We got to figure some stuff out first before I can get there, but that doesn't mean content stops. We're going to be continuing on with this playthrough anyways, but it will not be live streamed as I'm recording it. So these recording sessions will be completely offline so they may seem a little different compared to the other one and the previous series which if you haven't checked that out i'll leave a link down in the description for the playlist that has all of these episodes all together so you can definitely go check that out I highly recommend it and if you have been checking out the series and have been enjoying everything so far please hit that subscribe button and uh maybe hit a like on all the videos that you enjoyed and maybe this one if you enjoy this one i don't know I'm just saying. So enough about that. Let's go ahead and get on into the playthrough. And because it has been a while, I haven't touched Terraria in a minute. So forgive me if I'm a little rusty. But I was checking over some stuff that we did in the previous episode. And I reminded myself that we are now in hard mode. We have done absolutely nothing. So we have a, quite a bit to do. Um, I do have my pawn hammer in hand. And I think it's time we go destroy some altars. I don't want to get rid of that altar that I've been using recently. So I'm going to leave that one so that way I can use it for crafting and stuff. But there's quite a few altars here. These guys are actually kind of making this a little difficult. I don't want to fight them. They do the painful. Okay, if you guys could stop spawning, that would be fantastic. Okay, they're not going to stop spawning. That's great. Love that. Love that for us. I was making such an effort to come this way when I could have just done this. There we go. Took a few tries. <laughs> nice. Did we just get a crimson key right off the bat? Wait, hold on. What? <laughs> oh, I have two health. Okay, let's not. Holy crap. I did not expect to get that so quickly. Well, that just made my life easy. And adamantite. Damn it. I really wanted titanium. Okay, I... I... Forgot I'm in hard mode. <laughs> Okay, I have destroyed a lot of altars, and now there are a lot of wraiths around. <laughs> All right, just got this last altar to go, and then I will go ahead and head back up. All right, now that that's out of the way, I guess I should have uh, updated you guys on what all has changed and what I've done. So as you can obviously see, I got rid of all the torches in between the chests because that was a dumb idea. And I did some inventory sorting and um, whatnot. And we're pretty much organized. Alongside of that, I did do a little bit of research. There's a lot of butterflies flying around. While I'm catching these, I'll explain what I'm... Uh what I'm thinking. So I did a little bit of research on what I should be getting since like I've said multiple times throughout this playthrough that this is kind of like the first proper melee playthrough I've done in the in Terraria in general. I figured out that after getting some hard mode ore, our time would be best spent in the underground tundra. There's a, there's a few melee weapons that would become really helpful throughout this playthrough that spawn in the underground tundra, which would be the Amarok and the Icicle. That is after we get hard mode. <laughs> Uh, uh, ores. I am all over the place. So let me actually go ahead and grab some smoker potions and we will head down there and do that now. There's a big old vein of palladium. There's some. There's a quite a bit of aura calcum around here too. I might be able to make the pickaxe just from this one palladium vein too. Oh, okay. Uh, just don't mind me. Just go over there. <laughs> sure. That works. If I remember correctly, I'm fairly certain you need about 54 palladium ore to get the amount of bars you need to make the pickaxe, which is pretty much all I'm going to worry about crafting with palladium since as soon as you craft the pickaxe, you can just go straight on to aura calcum. And after that vein, we have 64. We have plenty. Cool. My goal in this episode is to try and we got a godly palladium pickaxe. All right. Is to try and take on the destroyer as well. What did I sell? Did I just sell my magic conch? I think I did. How did I manage to do that? It wouldn't be a Twisted Mitch series if I didn't sell something that was very important. Well, as upsetting as that is, I guess we'll just keep moving on. I think my favorite thing about upgrading from the Molten Pickaxe to the Hard Mode or Pickaxes is the increase in mining speed. Because, oh my lord, I cannot stand the Molten Pickaxe. There's so much Aura Calcum here. Holy crap. Alright, so now that we got those all mined out, it looks like we don't have enough for making both the Pickaxe and the Anvil. Yeah, I think it'd just be easier if we went back up and uh, got another another Splunker potion. So while we're here, let's go ahead and craft the Aura Calcum bars, the anvil. 
And it looks like we found some adamantite right up there above us. Oh, hey, hold on. Chill out, my guy. Not nearly enough for what we're gonna need, but we found some. All right. Now I think we have just enough. Awesome. There's the pick. We still got three minutes on our Splunker Potion, so let's just go ahead and dive back down. Grab as much adamantite as we can, and we'll see what we can do from there. Oh, it looks like a little bit of my tunnel towards the underworld has been uh, corrupted by Crimson. We got enough ore to at least make the Hell Forge. We might as well just go ahead and do that now. Well, now that we're back at the surface, I was doing a little bit more thinking. It would probably be a good idea that we just went ahead and increased our odds of finding some adamantite. So let's just go ahead and go destroy some more altars. And then we will go diving back down for some more adamantite. Oh, there's pink ice here. Okay, so it looks like the hollow decided to come over here. Well, that sucks because that, that means these guys are a little uh, vulnerable to the hollow. Shine potion. We'll go ahead and use that real quick. Whoop. Time to finesse. Whoop. Wait. All right, we're good. Oh, there's a lot of wraiths. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Yep, tactical retreat time. Not happening. But we did get a lot of uh, altars taken out. So we might just go ahead and uh, try our luck now. Let's just skip by those. I forgot they go through the wall. Oh. Photogrosses make this very complicated. Whew. Okay. There's some adamantite right there. If I can kill this Photogross, I'm going to grab it real quick. No, Tim. All right. Tim's going to go up there. That fluid gross was still there and I didn't have a jump left. Oh, this is awkward. I couldn't, I couldn't teleport fast enough. Dang it. I think I spotted. Yep, I did. Hey, hello. Can I have you? Thank you. I don't want to waste another Splunker potion, so I'm not going to use this next one yet until we get either close to the underground or underworld or in it. All right, I think now is... I quick stack them. No, <laughs> I forgot. So as we're making our way down, I might as well explain um, another thought I was having while I was doing some research on um, what we need to do to prepare for uh, taking on the mech bosses. And I was, I noticed that there was actually, there's a new accessory that you can get in 1.4 that I've never seen called the, uh, I already forgot what it's called. It's called the Berserker's Gloves, which is a combination of the Power Glove and... Oh, that's a lot of Animantite right there. I, just, I almost just walked right by that. And there's some more right there. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, this is the strat. But like I was saying, uh, I was looking at the stats and it's basically a combination of the Flesh Knuckles, which is a drop from the Corrupted or Crimson Mimic, and the Power Glove. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go for the Berserker Gloves instead of the uh, Mechanical Glove because that extra defense is going to be very nice. Oh, hey, Wizard. Hello. There's a Mimic right there. If we can get the Titan Glove right off the bat, that would be fantastic. <gasps> ah, dang it. Philosopher's Stone. Stop swinging your pickaxe for just a second. And we're actually right at the amount that we need. Sweet. We can just get on out of here. And we need those, those, and then the melee. That's mana ranged melee. Awesome. Well, since we got the Philosopher's Stone and we have uh, a band of regen on, on spare, might as well make a charm of myths. All right. Well, now that we have a full set of adamantite armor, I say it's time we go spend some time in the underground tundra so we can get some uh, better weapons. I'm not going to lie. I actually remember how difficult it was to get used to the flails new mechanic. But now that I have, I actually really like the flails. Oh, hey, a rainbow slime. Okay. I'm excited to get like the Tao of Pow. I haven't crafted the Tao of Pow in a long time. I just never felt a need for it since flails before 1.4 weren't necessarily like the biggest go-to melee weapon. So I'm really excited to be reunited with, with the Tao of Pow. It'll have like some, like a little bit of a uh, nostalgia to it. Oh, sick. Skeleton's here. Yeah, he's got the yo-yo glove for me too, baby. Let's go. And he's got a gradient. I mean, this isn't as powerful as the Amarok, but this is definitely a good upgrade. And I have plenty of money. Holy crap. Oh, frick. Okay, sweet. I got that a little bit quicker than I was expecting, but hey, we got the icicle now. And it looks... I don't... Okay, so it doesn't go through blocks, which is kind of sucks, but not too, too bad. It doesn't have auto swing, but when we get the, um, hold on, let me see what's, uh, what's his name? Gloomy Maze. Let's see what he's got, if he's got anything for us. And the Amarok drops, okay. <laughs> All right, sick. So we don't need to be down here anymore. All right, well, uh, our farming down there is done. Let me go ahead and clear up my inventory real quick. 
And a Blood Moon's Rising before I could even finish clearing out my inventory. Great. I do need you, though, because, uh... This is actually not bad. Where did that come from? I know he was throwing bombs. Oh, it was the Chattering Teeth Bomb. But I do need the Clown because he drops Banana Rangs. The Amarok does freaking work. I want to go ahead and make this yo-yo bag. Perfect. I'm going to try to see if I can get the Berserker Glove. I definitely want to try to see if I can get it before um, the Destroyer. Because if so, that makes this weapon an auto swing weapon, which will be fantastic. There's a clown. I need to make sure I stay away from his bombs, bro. The dude is a freaking baller. Holy crap. Two times I get one shot by the freaking clown. And then he just despawns. All right. Well, that's the Blood Moon down. We did get a Mechanical Skull out of that. So we have uh, that for Skeletron. And we got a Fast Clock. That's pretty much all we got out of that. All right. Well, now that we got that done and over with, I think the best, next best thing to do is to just go ahead and go down and do some more soul farming. Not only do soul farming, so that way we can get enough souls for some uh, Keys of Night. But we also need to farm some Mimics. So that way we can get that up. Oh, hey. Strange plant, gimme. So that way we can uh, get that uh, Titan Glove. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Chat, we're gonna do this. And chat, I meant YouTube comments, however you wanna put it, I don't know. We're gonna put our coins away. If we kill this guy and get Flesh Knuckles, that would be very nice. Let's start it off. I don't know if this was the greatest weapon to start off with, but... Oh, jeez, that was not something I was expecting or ready for. Come on. Oh. That time I was kind of ready for it. Okay, we're good. This is definitely not the ideal battle area for this, but the Amarok is doing absolute wonders. Okay, yeah, keep doing that. That's easier to dodge. I prefer that. I couldn't dodge that one. I was in a... All right, I just want you to teleport to me now. Oh. Ah, I got caught on that lip up in the top. I want, ah, I should have got rid of that. Crap. All right, whatever. We got 17 souls. Uh, So really, if we wanted to, since we're going up back up to the top anyways, we can go ahead and just craft a key and then just fight him again. All right, I'm ready for round two. Woo. Got a little close for comfort there. There we go. And we got the Fetid Botnox. That's not really the, the weapon I would have wanted, but still a weapon that I will take. Because they do some insane damage. I think back down we go. Alright, well, just escaping a near-death experience. Um, since we've ended up here and we just got 15 Souls of Night, I say we just go ahead and rock out another fight against the, uh, Crimson- Crimson Mimic. The Fetid Bog knocks again. Gosh darn it. All right, whatever. Got 19 souls now, which I think is just enough for two keys, I think I have. Yes, it is. All right, so we'll do it one at a time. Dash away, and we'll just knock these two out real quick, see what we get. All right, well, we got a dart pistol. All right, let's go for the second one, and let's please, please, please flush knuckles. And we got the freaking life drain. Okay. Just like how my luck usually is in Terraria, we're going to keep getting every single item that I do not need. <laughs> I'm going to try to get some more uh, some more souls, and uh, we'll see what to do from there. Also, for the sake of time for the video, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut to the point where we actually get the flesh knuckles. I was just thinking about it a little bit more, and I forgot that the hollowed mimic actually drops the flying knife which i i don't know how but i completely forgot about it so that is also something we can go ahead and uh try for real quick so we're gonna go ahead and get on with these two mimic fights see what we get from them and then go from there and we got the flying knife right off the bat so i can get that but i can't get the flesh knuckles okay cool good to know we got the tendon hook which is i guess not that bad i can't be mad at that Plus, we're getting some more potions and some more money. I guess I'll be back when I get the flesh knuckles. I don't know how long I've been going, but I'm gonna guess that I've been grinding for two hours. And we finally got the flesh knuckles. Oh my gosh. But I finally got it. And as you can see, I also got the Titan Glove, which is... 
hoggers. Make the power glove and the berserker's glove. Just taking into account the amount of enemies I've killed for souls and the amount of times I've killed the mimic. We no are now at six platinum. <laughs> so uh, since I have six platinum coins, I'm going to go ahead and go uh, actually reforge the uh, flesh knuckles and make it into warding. Okay, so, um, remember that six platinum we just had? <laughs> it's all gone. Oh, wait, hold on. There's actually one more thing I just now remembered. I for completely forgot that we have this harpy feather. So, we're gonna go, uh, farm some wyverns real quick. It'll give me a good idea. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, hold on. Oh, snap. I didn't know this was a thing. That's insane. That's so broken. I don't know if that's supposed to be a thing or not, but we're, we've got enough uh, souls now. Okay, so like I was saying before, we're going to go ahead and start on the destroyer. Or really just an arena for all the mech bosses. And then we'll just get right onto the fight. All right, so I will be right back. All right, as soon as it hits 7.30, we're going to hit it. Y'all ready for this? Oh, I thought something else just spawned. Okay, well, let's do it. I forgot to buff. Okay, we buffed. All right, I need to try to focus on the probes because that minimizes the amount of crap that is flying my direction. Okay, here come the lasers. I don't know how I dodged every single one of those, but you know, we're here, we're thriving, and we're living. Focus on the probes again. Okay. Focus on the body now. Never mind. We're focusing on the probes again. <laughs> this is the first time I've kind of really focused, like, heavily on... Oh, no. This is bad. Oh, yeah. This is bad. All right. We're out. Okay. Cool. Well, what I was saying is this is the first time I've really, like... Heavy focus probes. Oh, my flying knife went away. Hold on. We're still good on health. I'm taking a lot of hits, but we're, we're fine on health. We're doing all right. I'm trying to make use of both the flying knife and the yo-yo. I'm trying to drag it all the way across his body as much as possible so I can get as much damage from the flying knife as possible. And then the yo-yo is just supposed to act as like a uh, additional damage, not necessarily the main. Alright, I need to get rid of these probes. Okay, well, I'm glad I actually hit that guy and got knocked back because I would have, I think, fallen onto his body and that would not have been fun. Alright, you guys need to go away. Thank you. I also have a fetid bog knock, so I might dive in there if I'm full health at any point, and then just go to town on his body. Flying knife went away. I'm gonna bring that bad boy back out. Go away, away. Thank you. Okay, let me get rid of these probes again. Oh, that's his head. Oh, I just... Oh, I think uh, Brain of Conf uh, Confusion saved me there. I thought I dodged it, but I saw the uh, effect go off. Okay. I think I might dive in here, here in a second. I'm kind of sad none of those probes dropped any hearts. to really use them. Alright, I'm gonna dive in. Okay, I'm gonna back out now. Because that's... I don't know if that... I don't really think that did that much damage, if I'm honest. <laughs> I mean, it, no, it definitely did damage, but not nearly the amount that I thought it would. I don't know why I thought it would just, like, absolutely shred the destroyer, but, you know. I am kind of forgetting that this is master mode. <laughs> don't know how I'm forgetting that, but I am forgetting it. Not really using this map, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Those three hearts were pretty nice. I have yet to heal, which is, I think, a good thing. It means I I haven't really need to, like come close to death yet. 
But I think we're gonna dive in now. Oh my gosh. This, okay, yeah, this is shredding. All right, I'm, I had to heal there because I stayed in a little longer than I actually wanted to. But the flying knife yo-yo combo is actually doing pretty good. All right, this is this is a little close for comfort. I need I need some. Why did I not pick up that heart? What the hell happens? All right, we got that one. That didn't drop a heart. That sucks. And I can grab that one now. Sweet. There's one on the ground over here. That's nice. One of y'all should drop a heart. Okay, or not. That's fine. Whatever. Hey, you should go away. Hey, you dropped a heart. Okay, I, I will forgive you for your uh, your interruption this one time. I don't want to dive back in with the uh, the Bognox again yet. Because... I, I just don't have the health for that. We're still looking fine. I'm not really worried yet. I just would love it if these probes decided to drop some hearts. Only one did so far. There's another. I'm still taking way more hits than I want. Okay, I'm a lot closer to death than I want to be. <clears throat> Alright, cool. Looking better on health now. Now that I was able to heal. Give me that heart. I want that heart. I might dive in just for this last second. I don't want to take too much of a chance, though. I want to make sure I can secure the dub if I do dive in. Alright, I think now is the time. I forgot I was still potion sick. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Maybe bad. Maybe not entirely bad, but it's not looking promising. I that took six. That was only six damage. Nice. All right, I am sucking with this flying knife right now. I think we might have it killed right here. Okay, I I totally took a chance and just pressed F. I didn't really take much of a chance. I just pressed F without knowing. And there it is. Okay, just shut up, Mitch. <laughs> the fight's over. Okay, sweet. That's Destroyer down. Let's go ahead and drop this relic back down. Why did I say back down? But it, we're dropping it down. And we got the Souls of Might, which I don't think there's really much we can do with. Light Discs. Light discs we could definitely do. So I think I think I think we'll do that. I might just grind that off camera. And I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode, and um, hopefully nothing was too weird or out of place comparing to the other videos and all that stuff. Hopefully you did enjoy this style instead. If you did enjoy, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe and maybe leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.